And so I was gonna like comment on the fact that like it's the nominees video is coming out in like 26 minutes. But Theory of Everything 2 to Tidal Wave, excuse me? No way. What? Like, don't do that to yourself. I'm sorry, but like, Theory of Everything 2 is the easiest Rob Tom demon. And like, you go from an easy demon to the hardest demon, or at least what everyone considers the hardest demon, just, just no. Like I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but no, don't do that to yourself. Like that, that's that's not okay. <laughs> like, <sighs> like twenty three percent is really good. Like ninety to one hundred and twenty two to thirty. I don't really know the level, and I don't care to know the level. And I do really think it should be rated because the only reason people are saying it's not raid worthy is because the creator has no creator points. That's it. Um, that's kind of how everyone judges the levels these days. <laughs> like, I I should really do videos, or I I should really do kind of like, um, reaction videos to stuff. Um. All nominations are solely based on 2023. Of course, and ever is gonna win. Wait, when did and ever come out? I'm, I'm gonna start set up right now. I'm dumb, but it was four weeks ago. Oh god! Once no. everything's perfectly no. organized, I'll start working on my. Oh yeah, the grammar you just go away. I have ad block. Um. But no, 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 it's, it came out in 2023, please. That, because I don't like how, Gal I don't like creators that just treat like creators that are like trying to like, at least get like a greater point and just, I don't like how those kind of creators just treat people. They think they're lower than them. Because, in turn, I'm going to do the same thing. That's kind of the whole point of uh, treat others how you want to be treated. Because if Galifuff wants to treat people like me, just like, oh, that level's cringe. Ew, gross. Not even really give me, like, a good kind of suggestion as how to improve anything. Then I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to call your levels ew, cringe as well. Um, I don't care how good it looks in fact it it looks good all right it's premiering soon like in 10 minutes i also turned on the volume on like the um desktop audio so that you can hear me a little bit better hopefully um because uh my microphone is just really quiet and it's on like max volume like i know you, i know you can't see it but it has like a little volume slider on it and I set it to max volume but it's only if I get like close to the microphone where you can like at least hear me a little bit but I am curious like I, I really want to try doing reaction videos because I think it'd be interesting because I don't I don't want to hype up like reactions like OMG guys it's like the uh you just did that oh my god guys but like I just kind of want to do reaction videos, just kind of how I would genuinely react to them, like, um, it's just, when I genuinely react to them without making a video, it's just, I'm pretty silent, whereas at least I'd be a little bit more talkative if I'm recording a video, but not, like, super crazy YouTuber talkative, just talkative where, like, I'm just speaking my mind. If you, if people just pay attention to my sidebar, you'll see, like, uh, stuff like, oh, verbal ace made it. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of the verbal ace situation. It's just, I'm not a drama channel, so I'm obviously not going to cover that. I'm not going to make a community tab post on it. Um, and I don't know if it's really safe to talk about, considering that, like, there might be, um, like, I, I don't know if there's, like, I, I don't know if, like, younger people watch my videos. I, I don't think so, but I know that, like, my cousins and everything like that probably will watch this video it's very possible so i just want to i just don't want to expose them to the crazy stuff that happens on the internet so that's why i will just probably rarely do a lot of videos with like 
I will always like put like a warning at the and this will start the video and if it's necessary i'll age restrict it because i i don't care i'm not affected by monetization or anything because i don't have the amount of subscribers for that i'm sorry if i'm just rambling for way too long it's just there's not really a lot to do for this i already know that and ever came out last year so it has the potential to win and i don't want and ever to win because i'm, I'm just not a personal fan of galofuff he's just I, I know it's just out of context for me to just be like hating on Endeavor and, and Galvov and stuff like that, but it's because I it's because like I personally just like um, had him like comment on one of my one of my like design levels that I was just like for an experiment and he he literally went on and just said you cringe to it. He literally just went on and just said you cringe to it, and I, and really I should have taken that a little bit better at the time, but. You do realize that you can't do that. You can't say stuff like that to just creators that are trying to aspire to be like the greats and every, it, to, to like live up to like a bunch of like really good creators out there because you you can't treat people like that. I'm sorry, but like if you're just gonna sit there and call my levels you cringe because they're not as good as yours, then I'm sorry, but I'm gonna call your levels you cringe even if they are better than mine. Cause I don't care how good your levels are. You're, that's not a good thing to do. And that's kind of why I just don't want And Ever to win because I just find that because of that, Galifuf doesn't really have a lot of personality to me, and therefore the level doesn't have personality. I know I know I'm separating art from the artists, but um, but these are Geometry Dash levels. These aren't like video games. These are just Geometry Dash levels. Uh, that are made in a level editor, so obviously the levels are going to represent the creator a lot more than a video game would. Uh, hello, this is editing Fireyak here, but uh, I just wanted to mention something that I should have mentioned while I was recording, but uh, I just want to say please do not go harass Galofa for anybody that I talk about in this video. That is not my intention at all. I'm just making like a, a commentary and rant just about how I just don't really, um, not a fan of them. And, um, and I am a bit harsh, but please do not go and attack and harass anybody that I mention in this video at all. Um, and I should have mentioned that while I was recording, um, but I just want to come out and say that now. Anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. And I just don't think And Ever has a lot of personality in it. That's kind of why I made Lifeless Nightmare, because the level is just bare bones dry, but that's, that's the purpose of it. That's the purpose of, like, the artistic kind of choice, because no matter how good And Ever looks to me, it will always just look like Lifeless Nightmare to me, because it doesn't have personality in it it's just made to get creator points and it is exceeded it got legendary which i i don't like i don't like how it got legendary and i don't like how people just say that that's the level that should have gone legendary not coaster mountain come on coaster mountain's a good level the video might lag a bit because my computer's not very good at recording stuff and watching videos at the same time because chrome destroys my ram but that's not a big surprise so I apologize, the video will probably lag a little bit throughout the whole thing. And just know that th that I can't do anything about it. There's a really good aesthetic choice, unless that's just the default YouTube premiere thing now. Which, which is also cool. Alright, what, what do you have, Robtop? What do you have? Okay, that's a good title screen so far. I know RobTap doesn't really edit these videos, but he does endorse them, so... Um, it's very interesting to see. Best auto level. I don't know a lot of auto levels that came out. Ugh. I don't like Geometry Dash songs that have lyrics in it, and I'm sorry. Like, I I'm not a fan of Geometry Dash songs that have lyrics in them. I'll, I'll turn on the volume, actually. Not because I don't want to get copyrighted, I don't care about copyright. It doesn't really affect me unless if, like, the video gets taken down. Goofy map. I, I, I never heard of any of these levels, and even then, like, when I watch these videos, I just never heard of a lot of these levels. 
But I think it's cool that 2023 will have a blend of like all the early two, all the early levels that were made in 2.1, and then all the later levels that came out in 2.2. Oh, I think I've heard of that level. I think I've heard of this level. It's like that. That looks really good. Best easy level. Oh, is this just gonna be like all the difficulties? <laughs> Best easy level. Okay. Uh... I don't know when um, Dad left me by Purs. I'm sorry, Purs, if I mispronounce your name throughout this, but um, Purs, Purs, however you pronounce your username. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, but I, I really wish if my Dad left me got rated in 2023 because then that would mean that it would be on on this video. Also, shout out to Purs, by the way. They're a genuinely good person. Like they're they're a good creator. Like they're like they're like I'm pretty sure most people would say like they're alright, but in my eyes they're a really good creator because not only can they create like pretty decent levels, but they're a genuinely good person outside of creating. But yeah, I'm sorry if I'm rambling over these levels. I've never heard of a, the majority of them. Because I don't really pay attention to a lot of levels that come out. Unless if it's like a top demon, and even then they're they're usually not good. And honestly, so far 2.2 has just ruined the demons list and I love it. Because <laughs> I, I don't like the demons list anymore. Like at first I was like, oh, it's cool to see the top demon come out, but the top demon is just another hell level. It's always just going to be another hell level. It was made with no effort and just made to, to be on the list. That's why I love older Geometry Dash Extreme demons that came out like 1.2, 1.6 and stuff like that because they, because Hacking isn't so common at the time. Oh yeah, I've heard of this level. I think. No, it's n it's not this one. It's the other one. The the one that's like based on s the Super Nintendo game. But that's good. Like that's l that's like similar to the the Wii Mario Kart game. Afterlife. Oh yeah, that's on the the Discord gauntlet, right? Yeah, I, I think it is the Discord Gauntlet first level. The Discord Gauntlet is really good, despite being the worst named Gauntlet ever. Um, yeah, let's see what you got. Yep, that was also in the uh, in the Discord mod Gauntlet. I, I love calling it the Discord mod Gauntlet. I'm sorry. This level is also really good. All the levels in 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 at least the Discord mod Gauntlet. I don't know about the Split Gauntlet. I haven't finished it yet. And I don't, I don't want to spoil myself, but they're really good. Yeah, that's another one I th think that's in it. Is all these levels just going to be from the Discord mod gauntlet? Because uh, they're all really good. What's this level? Rush I, I haven't heard of this level. But is this, Nex is this Nexus or Crazy Mid 50? Oh, it's Nexus. I keep, because, uh, not crazy man, I'm sorry, uh, Kermal, uh, Kermal always uses the default mini icon, so I can't tell if it's Nexus or Kermal. I'm sorry, Kermal, if you're watching this video, which I doubt you are, but if you are, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Between Worlds, that's a cool name. Um, Alright, that looks good. Oh, that's such a cool effect! Oh, that looks really cool. That that actually genuinely looks really cool. Oh, what? What made it in? Nice! Nice! Although, unfortunately, you need, like, um, that gigabyte patch to play the non-low detail mode version, I think. So, I didn't think it'd be qualified at all. But yeah, I forgot that came out last year. I forgot that came out last year. <laughs> Bwomp. Everyone's obsessed with the blast processing Bwomp at the beginning and I just find that funny and weird. That's that's why I love the congregation jump scares because it's funny and weird and that's why I started playing Geometry Dash again. Because I don't care about creating good levels, I just care about the funny and weird things. At first I thought that was a Limbo reference, but 
it's not. I haven't heard of a lot of these levels, so forgive me if you're just gonna cringe really hard at just, oh, Fire Yak, how, how do you not know what level that is? Ugh! Like, I don't pay attention to a lot of levels that come out these days, because I don't, I don't care. I don't watch Vibrant or Nexus anymore, really, that much, because they'll just post a random level that they like, which is fine. I'm, that's, I'm, th I'm not holding that against them. Um, it's just I don't really care about a lot of the levels that come out these days. But yeah, I think that one was also from the Discord mod gauntlet, the previous one. Ooh, what's this one? Yeah, I'm, re I'm really sorry. Uh, I've not heard of this level. So far, I think, like, for hard levels, I'm definitely going to vote what, and... Uh, this level was good, but I just wasn't a fan of the gameplay, like, near the end of it. Yeah, this part this part of the level, the gameplay was so annoying for me personally, but that's because I'm a terrible player. Um, but artistically, that level was really good. Hey, let's see what you got. Seasonal Haven. Ooh, I like what you did with like the the buzz saws and everything like that. Why are so many lulls have like that background of just like the castle thing? Or I, I I'm dumb. I could just be mispronouncing it and everyone's cringing right now like really hard at me right now oh what's this level i've never heard of this what is that level <laughs> what is that level i'm definitely gonna search that up after this after this is over i'm definitely watching <laughs> what, what? I'm, I'm definitely voting that one i'm definitely voting that one that's funny that's funny i'm definitely going to search up that level after this video is over Oh, cool! That, that's cool. Oh, that's like a nice title screen you have there. Yeah, at this point I've just become numb to like all the really good levels that are coming out lately because like, I could never do anything like these things, but it's just there's so many of them that I just... I've just become so numb to it. Please do not put and ever on here. Uh, oh, wait, did My Spy with My Little Eye come out last year? Because I think that might be on the list. Because that level was really popular. And that's an easy demon, right? Did, did that come out last year? I don't remember. Oh yeah, Glorious Fortress! I remember this level. Yeah, that's a really good level. Oh my god, that's so cool! Yeah, I could never do any of this stuff. Like, at best, I could just make an early 2.0 level. That, that, that's a, a, like, a, like color, Colorful Dreams, which I'm working on improving, by the way, just looks like an early 2.0 level. Or at least, like... A level that came out maybe just before Sirius by Funny Game did and revolutionized 2.0. Change of scene. I think I've heard of this level. I don't remember. Seven Seas. That's a that's a meltdown reference. <laughs> yep, I spy with my little eye. I knew it. That's the only one I've heard of. Besides the previous one, I think. And, and, um, Glorious Fortress. Oh, thank God, Andever's not on here. Thank God! Yes! Unless if Andever suddenly got Medium Demon by the time this video came out. Uh, New Light. Although and ever might win the 2024 awards, which is possible. Uh, I guess we're gonna only have to find out until like next year though, or at least later this year. I don't know when these things come out. 
Yeah, I never heard of this level. I haven't really heard of a lot of demons that came out this year. Well, actually, no, that's that's incorrect. I've, I've heard of, like, um, the majority of those easy demons. But yeah, it, no doubt I spy with my little eyes gonna win. That's so cool! I, I've never heard of this level before. Ugh, but the... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But that, that part that I just played right there was just kind of not my favorite. But then it turned really good. It turned really good. I'm, I'm really sorry to the creator if I offended them. I'm, that's not my intention. I'm really sorry. It's just... The part after that really cool Geometry Dash on the computer thing, it's just that looked a little bit generic to me, and I'm, I'm sorry. But then the part after that was really good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Gamer Knight 750. I don't, I've never heard of that guy, but that 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 was so close to my old username. That is so close to Knight 2937 because I was originally going to be called the Gamer Knight 2937. Oh my god! Like I've never heard of Gamer Knight 250 or whoever that was, but um, uh, that that's so close to my old username. It's funny. I've heard of Cherry Team, but i never heard of this level. It's a really dumb observation for me to make. Engage the Hunter Drive. <laughs> oh no, wait, I'm dumb. It's entirely possible that Endeavor could be nominated at, at some point. All right, let's see what you got. Interference. I don't remember if I want to be the guy who came out on December. It probably didn't, but um, I don't think I'm. I think I just realized that. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of the 2.2 levels. It's all just the 2.1 levels since the 2.2 literally just came out at the end of the year. So um, I doubt we're gonna see any of the new 2.2 levels. Jumper copy by Drop Top Archiver. Why? Why do you name levels so many dumb things? That's just not what it has to do with the level. Oh, that's a cool effect, but I don't. It's not really funny to me personally. I'm, I'm sure other people find it funny, but it's just not funny to me because it's just kind of lame and misleading. Crash game. I mean, that's kind of how you can describe Geometry Dash. Just the crash game. Oh, those were insane demons. I, I I thought they were gonna get to the extreme demons already. Never heard of this level. I'm I'm sorry. It's just I know everyone's cringing right now. I just don't really pay attention to a lot of what comes out these days, because I don't I don't really care. And I I only care if it's like OMG guys, it's the brand new level by what's their what's their name. That, that's how I hear about them. And also if they were made it into one of the new gauntlets. That's how I hear of them. Empyrean. How do you pronounce that? Empyrean. I'm, I'm so sorry. I butchered that hard, didn't I? <laughs> that looks like Black Blizzard, I'm sorry, but that, that gameplay at least looks like Black Biz Blizzard or just reminds me of Black Blizzard's gameplay because just whenever I see Wave and UFO, it, it, it just puts me to Black Blizzard even though I think that was a wave and a ball. Just for some reason that put me to Black Blizzard, even though it really should have... Oh, I, I hate... 
I don't want to pronounce it. I think it's Cosmos. I was about to pronounce it the the other pronunciation, but I don't like that level. I hear so much about it and I'm tired of it. Oh, that's the floating outskirts. Was that 2.1 or 2.2? I don't remember. But I heard so much of that level and yeah, it's good. But I'm not I'm not voting Edge of Destiny! That came out this year? I totally forgot about that. Or last year, last year, last year. I, I, I'm dumb. But yeah, I, I totally forgot it came out. I love Edge of Destiny. Well, I haven't, I've only watched the video once, but I, I love those remakes of levels because they, they look so good. I'm definitely probably gonna vote Edge of Destiny or uh, probably Edge of Destiny. I'm, I'm definitely not voting Cosmos because Cosmos is overrated best streamer. Oh yeah, the people, the people. Uh, Alright, who, who are they gonna be? Alright, I am here. I would probably be a very boring streamer if I was a streamer. That's a joke. <laughs> I just like how I am here just doesn't care. Uh, I'm not a fan of Siki. I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of Siki. He's kind of just generic to me. Because he's exactly what I just described about the OMG guys, and I don't want to offend anybody. I'm not a Seeky fan, okay? I'm not a fan of Seeky. I never heard of this guy. That's just a rhythm. That's like. Well, there's not a pineapple, I'm see. <laughs> Let's check it out. No, no, no! I never heard of this guy. I could just be out of touch though. I Ooh, doggy. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do something easy. I get away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I watched that video. I, I don't watch there the streams. Go. I just watch the highlights. Um. I'm gonna just leave it there. Now we'll just revert to just going to here. I don't really watch a lot of streamers. One of the Helix. Is that the? Yeah, I think I, I've only seen this guy's videos, not the I don't watch any of the live streams, I only just watch the videos. But I know they completed Hackeron, I think. That's that's only how I know them. And um and Pesta, of course, and Pesta's gonna win. And Pesta is like the He's a what what no dude guy. I do appreciate him. Like I, I do appreciate all the players and everything like that. It's just I find Enpesa's reaction a bit. Of... Dorami has 1.1 million subscribers now. I did not even know that. I did not even know that. That's really cool. There's not a lot of Geometry Dash YouTubers who have a million subscribers, so that's really cool. I didn't know that Dorami reached a million subscribers. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want. I, I remember I was like into uh, that Deandre level that Dorami made. Um. Team color, among action. Oh yeah, Cologne. Actually, I'm starting to think these guys are on. Ugh, Cologne's gonna win. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I just find Cologne's kind of a, a bit of a smart ass. I'm sorry. It's just he just constantly tries to make the points that he thinks are good, but just not. Really favorite. I don't like Vortrox. I'm sorry. I hate Vortrox. Like. Let's be a rebel and just spam. Like, Vortrox is not really that good, in my opinion. It's just boring. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry to all the people I'm offending here, but I don't like Vortrox. I, I, I don't like Vortrox's content. Like, I'm sure Vortrox is a cool dude, it's just I don't like his content. But that's just me. Also, I thought Sir Gillister died, like, er, not, not, not died, literally, but I meant, like, his channel died off, like, years ago. He was popular in, like, 2015. I didn't realize it was big this year. And same with Wolsey. I'm not a fan of Wolsey. But he's the guy who goes, I love Judy Cologne, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of... I do like Cologne better than Wolsey and Vortrox, though, but... 
Um, it doesn't mean... Uh, Trine's okay. His content's good. I don't mind Trine. Mumpin's just a showcase channel. Yeah, Mumpin's just a, a showcase channel, like Nexus or Partition. Oh yeah, I love Miku, 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 Miku. <laughs> yeah. I actually do love the Miku, Miku, Miku level. Aeon Air's gonna win both ca categories. Oh yeah, I love that video. I love that video where like he meets Sputniks in real life too. I love that video. Every one of them is good. I like him. Like I, I watched a couple of his videos this uh, last year, and they're really good. I also love the egg gauntlet. Thank you, Eric Van Wolleren, for introducing the egg gauntlet, the, the best gauntlet of all time. I'm just sad it never made it into the actual game, but it, it should. Rob Top make the egg gauntlet into a into an actual game. What's the best video that came out this year related to Geometry Dash? You know, I just realized that Congregation jump scares was not on that list of people, even though we, even though they were one of the fastest growing Geometry Dash YouTubers I've ever seen. Okay, that's not true. Oh, that came out this last year? That came out last year? I love Samifying videos, they're really good. Please tell me a Stormfly video is going to be on here too, because then it's going to be like a very hard decision. I love Stormfly's videos. I love Stormfly. He's my favorite Geometry Dash content creator. Because he's exactly like me. I've never seen this guy. I've never heard of this video. I've never heard of this guy. But I, I love Stormfly's content. He reminds me so much of myself and I love it. Definitely not a jump pad. Enter the jump really, the mechanics video and not the Sub Zero coins video. Did that happen last year? I don't remember. I, I could be dumb though. But uh, how John Trash uses his mechanics is fine. I don't mind it. It's just. Oh, I also I also love uh, place. Like it's definitely the level that it's definitely the level of all time. But it's also just the level that is like. Um, that's meant to be watched, not played. But I love the idea of the the place level. Oh yeah, that came out last year too. I forgot. Um, my biggest gripe with the Geometry Dash 10 year anniversary video is just it's not good for people who don't know anything about the community and just know Geometry Dash is that one mobile game. That's kind of my biggest gripe with the 10 year anniversary. Or, video because it's a good video it's just if if someone who's never really paid into like the community has really if if they never like really paid attention to the community at all they're not gonna know who alex Payne is they're not gonna know who darnock is unless if like i explit unless if someone explicitly tells them that they used to be a really good content creator back in the day. They used to be like a really good like, and even then, no one's really gonna like. Like I know it's meant for the community. I know the video is meant for the community, but like, I showed the video to a couple of like my friends who don't play Geometry Dash, and they're just like, okay, like who is this guy? But yeah, I, I so far I haven't heard of any of these creators. Although really realistically, I should be on there. Uh, if not me, it should be Purs. Oh, I forgot Audiovisual was a creator as well. I just know he starts off his videos with "What the guys," which is just annoying in my opinion. But I get it's a gimmick, so I won't. Um, yeah, that the level's cool, but that part, that part right there, that part right there, that part right there, not my favorite. I'm sorry, that 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 part right there is not my favorite. But then, like, the part after that, 
that was shown in the video that, that was really good and and the geometry that I shown on the community part is really good I've heard way too much over this creator Pocky or whatever however you pronounce them Pock Pocky I always get them confused with Pock the guy who made um uh Save as. Yeah, I never heard of any of them. Just please do not put Galifuff on this list because I, I don't like Galifuff. Because Galifuff's just not a good person. Best player. <laughs> Space UK is gonna win. <laughs> Space UK is gonna win. It, it's definitely gonna be Zoink though. Like, it's 100% gonna be Zoink. Like, no one cares. It's always just going to be Zoink, even though, in my opinion, Riot is the best player. Because he may not have beaten Acheron or whatever the hardest level is right now, Avernus or something. But Riot will obviously be, like, the best creator, or best player, in my opinion, because he's definitely influenced the community a whole lot. Although, based on skill, I think it would be Zoink, because everyone else is going to vote him anyway. But I really don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I know I'm undermining their achievements. And that's not my intention. Also, Sukupin Circles should not have been a top demon. Like, why is it higher than Sonic Wave Infinity? Like, why is it higher than Sonic Wave Infinity? I hate the fact that it's higher than Sonic Wave Infinity. Never heard of this guy. But Z Zoink is um, definitely going to win. Like, no doubt. Although people are just going to jokingly vote Space UK. Because he hacked or something. Or Doggy. Doggy might win, but I'm pretty sure Zoink is going to win. Like, by a long shot, because he he beat Avernus, Tidal Wave, and Acheron. He, he verified all of them, I mean. Oh yeah, his in-game username is ZZoink. If I was on any of these lists, I'll just put Fiery Egg without a space. It's just gonna look like garbage. RobTubGames.com slash vote? What? He has like an actual official voting website now? Like everything else used to be done on like a, uh, um, Google Forms, but he now has like an official Geometry Dash voting thing on his website? That's so cool. Oh my God, that is so cool. I, th I like how that's the part of the video that I'm most impressed by. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so funny. And I'm, I'm so sorry to whoever I find it in this video. That's not my intention at all. I'm just speaking my mind and I, I'm so sorry to anyone who I find in this video besides Galifuff. He deserves it. Um, but yeah. Um, is that it? I, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, that was it. Um, that was, that was a good video. It was definitely the video of all time. All right, so now this is just going to be the part of the video where I, um, vote. So, RobTop, um, so I thought this was going to be on RobTop site. I'm going to go to RobTop Games that, uh, RobTop. Games. Th did he actually finish his website though? Is that what that means? What? No. No. Uh, l l let me go back to the end of the video here. Of course, the video is by Viper and <laughs> Robbed Up Games slash vote. Robbed Up Games dot com slash vote. <laughs> what? That's what I typed. What? Am I? Am I dumb? No, 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 no. Just let me pause the video. Ah, You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'll just vote on here. Um, whatever, whatever. I, I just find that weird. Um, unless I refresh. Oh yeah, have I liked the video yet? Like I do with every other video I watch. Shaking funny eyebrows if the guy who made Skibbity Toilet joins. <laughs> oh yeah, and other people are already doing the reactions too. That's really cool. Um, yeah, no. No. 
Anyway, I'll stop. I'll, I'll just vote now. Next. Level categories. Alright, um... I don't- I haven't heard of any of these levels besides this one, so I'm gonna vote this one. There's only three of them? I thought there was- I thought all of them were equal. Like, in turn, but then again, each- Then again, no one cares about making auto or easy levels anymore. It's always about the demons. Um, I've heard of none of these levels. But... I like this one, I think? I don't remember. Because I was rambling over this part, so I didn't pay attention properly, but I like this one from, from that screenshot. Um, best normal level. Um, best fire in the hole. Um, okay, I don't care about these two levels, but um, Carding Dash or Afterlife? Carding Dash or Afterlife? Because this was in the Discord mod call, whereas this is... Like a really cool level, but the problem is, is that this isn't a geometry. This is, this isn't really a level. It's just a mini game, and while I love how impressive the mini games are, I just don't think they're really good for the game. If that makes sense, like they're they they look amazing, but um, I I really tend to like the levels that are actually geometry dash levels that just look really good over. John Shadows levels that are so good that they're a different game, and it's just... No, that's... That that makes it feel less of a Geometry Dash level to me, because... It just feels more like a mini-game. Than, than an actual, like, thing, and it's just... I don't know. Um, I know it took a lot of effort to make, but... I'm not a fan of mini-games in Geometry Dash levels, because... They're... They don't feel like Geometry Dash levels to me, and I'm, I'm not a fan of when... Geometry Dash levels don't feel like Geometry Dash levels, but, like, um, they still feel like Geometry Dash levels, even if they look like the most artistic masterpieces of all time. If you can still see your icon, that's a pretty bad judgment to make, but, um, but if it still feels like a Geometry Dash level, that, I would say that that kind of, uh, whatever. Um, oh, there's six of them. I like this level. Um, what still feels like a Geometry Dash level to me? Because it's not a minigame. It still uses Geometry Dash mechanics to, um, create, like, an artistic masterpiece. Yeah, I'm sorry. What is winning? <laughs> I I love this level. I love this level, too. Or, I, I haven't played it, but I, I like the look of this one. But I love what better than both of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone's voting right now, so it's just like, uh, uh, oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to vote in this video today. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. But um, I don't think I'm going to vote, only really because it just won't let me. Because everyone is voting right now. I I can't vote right now. So I'm not going to vote in this video. Unless if it will just let me. Uh... Rob Top, I thought you were going to host it on your website. Like you said at the end of the video. Come on. No. Back. Vote now. RobTopGames.com slash vote. RobTopGames dot com slash vote is that the right slash yes it is S see it doesn't work come on i can't vote ah come on ugh that's annoying but at least you know what like the majority of my votes will basically be it's just only the levels i heard about and the I don't care about the levels, honestly. Like, there are so many really good ones, but I don't really care about the levels. I just care about, like, the content and stuff like that. Um, and I, I want to look at the content creator stuff again. That's a choke. For me, personally, if Stormfly was on this list, I'd vote him in a heartbeat, but I don't think this year was a good year for his channel, and I'm, I'll, I'll go check. He hasn't made a lot of videos this year, so I doubt he would even be on this list. 
even if he was like super duper popular um when did this one come out did it did it come out uh last year but dark x announced um oh no it came out it came out uh, in 2022 uh this video was really good but yeah, this video, th this year was not a really good year for him because, it was set by someone on the... um, because he didn't really get a lot of time to do like a lot of documentaries on the game. It was just literally his only five videos he released in 2023 is just this one, which was a good video. I love this video, but it, it it's it's the only good one. I haven't watched this one. It, it says I did, but and. That wasn't my favorite video by him. It was the only one I was just kind of iffy on. Um, the, these two I watched. They were good. Um, but I wouldn't say they were his best. They were really good, but not as not my favorite. I love the Super Expert series. I love the Super Expert series because you think that, like, it'd be like, Oh my god, guys! Like, oh! But, like, I just love how dead serious he is throughout the videos that's i love the super expert series because i just love how dead serious he is throughout all of them and it's funny and entertaining that is what's entertaining to me personally because i just love how dead serious he is throughout all of them and it's so funny how he's just like uh oh this video's garbage man like it it doesn't feel like annoying and over the top it feels relatable like i, I like i know that's dumb for me to say but i i love them i also like this video this video was good um but unfortunately 2023 was not a good year for him and that's not to say that that's a bad thing it's just i think 2022 was a better year for storm play like i like he uh, they had like the rant videos which i really liked um and they're i love the eric van wilderman super expert video i love that one it's probably my favorite ever Eric Van Wilderman video besides the egg, egg gauntlet video. Um, and um, I love the Element 111RG um, documentary. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling way too much. I'm rambling way too much. Um, so A on Air. Uh, I'm not a fan of Seeky. Zeronium, I've never heard of them. I guess. I don't Doggy's really fine. Him. I don't mind him. I think it's fine. I've heard of this guy, but I haven't watched too many of his videos. And Pessa. The problem is that I don't watch these people when they do live streams, so it's hard for me to kind of like relate to them. Um. So. I kind of would have to go kind of I might go with A on air because like I said I just kind of like how he just doesn't care you'd expect him to just go like um like oh my god guys no I died but then like he's usually just like oh okay and if he beats something like um like maybe like it's only his hardest levels where he does like react like crazy like that but I just feel like it's more deserved that way if he like plays a level that's not as hard and he just beats it he's just like oh cool I beat it this kind of just what I like. Best YouTuber. Uh, Cologne's okay. It's just I'm not I'm not I'm I'm just not a fan of just kind of his personality where he just sort of feels like he's the smartest person in the world, and that's just not my favorite. I I know I don't know if he intends to come across that way, but for me, he just kind of tries to come across as just like um. Just kind of just, he tries. To, I don't know. I I I'm probably dead wrong on this. Also, Colin is from Canada. That's completely inaccurate. Um, at least from what I know of. Um, but um, I'm just not a fan of his personality. Where he just where he just feels like um, that I just f I just feel like he just sounds like he's just above everyone else. But. I know he probably doesn't intend to come across that way, but to me, he kind of does, and it just makes it a little bit harder to watch. His co his content's good. Like he has really good ideas for content. It's just I feel like that because he has good ideas for content, he thinks he's the smartest person in the world, and I'm just not a fan of that. 
Also, I hated that generation video, retro generation retro video. I hated it. I'm really sorry. I need to go on a rain here for a second, but I hated that video so much. That was my. I forgot it came out last year, but I hated that video so much because it didn't really feel like he was really criticizing the level properly. He it felt like it just he was attacking the creator, and even though he said in the comments, like he penned the comment saying like um. Don't arrest the creator, guys. Just it felt like he was attacking the creator, and I didn't like that. That that, but that's just me. I didn't like that personally. Have you ever wondered to apologize? Geometry uh, I don't like Vortrox. I'm sorry. I don't like Vortrox. He's just bland, and he has no personality to me. He's just he's just clearly just that guy who just goes like, oh, this in this Geometry Dash video, we're gonna be looking at this, and I'm just like, that's not entertainment to me. Yeah, once again, I did not know Sir Goliaster was really that big this year, but then again, his, his channel did not really grow that much from what I remember. I didn't realize he was a big creator this year. And, and honestly, it's just weird to me. And at least Guitar Hero Strauss is not on here. <laughs> also, no, I don't like Wolsey. It, it, it's pretty much the same criticism with, with Vortrox. And also, I don't like their videos. Like, I, I watched this video where it's just like, they criticize that creator, Bridget the Croco or something. They, they criticize the creator, or, or like, people were criticizing them for, like, just cranking out levels for creator points so that they can beat Viperin, which is what they were doing. I'm sorry to say, but that's what they were doing. And their levels weren't really good in the process. And then, like, Vortrox and Wolsey were just like, yeah, but, like, why, why, you make a better level then. And I'm like, that's not the point. That, that's not the point of the video. It's just, like, like, that's kind of just, they don't have personality to me because that's just, that's just, like, Wolsey wasn't too bad on it. He was just going, like, I don't see the problem here. But Vortrox was worse, in my opinion, with, like, that. And to me, that just makes them makes it really feel like that I can't really connect with these creators at all. Because that just shows that they don't really have a lot of personality. And they just desperately wanted to see Bridget the Croco just beat Viper. And even though Yoon has to... I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry I butchered that. But Yoon has so... I, I'm really sorry for butchering your name if you're watching this but um <clears throat> but they they did it anyway which is funny um but i i just don't like how they just kind of criticize people who were criticizing bridget the croco for just cranking out levels to get creator points and it was working um when like their argument is just have you ever made a better level that's not that's not a good argument like, I'm, I'm sorry. That's just not a good argument. The line's still broken. Oh, and also, oh, just a contest. Not the best. For most of the level. Like, nothing much is breaking. This wind copter looks fine. You sneaky bugger. This is yeah, Tried is good. Is I might either then vote Cologne or Tried. Wait, so this will pop up to be <clears throat> Mulpan's not winning, I'm sorry, but Mulpan's just a showcase channel. Everyone's having a good day today. So, today we're going... <laughs> <laughs> I would say maybe well, Cologne would win. Another exciting episode of Impossible. Ah, Eric from Wilderman is really good. They're badly done. It's just all finished. Thank you, boss fight for leaving. Please, sunset soon. Uh, I'm not a fan of Nipasa's videos, but that's just me. Yeah, this is this is my vote. This is a hundred percent my vote. Hundred percent. I I love Stormfly and Samifying's videos. They're they're both really good. Definitely not a jump pad. Enter the jump ring. I'm sorry, I have to disagree. Polar Geist was not very good in introducing in, um, the the jump orb because when I first played Geometry Dash, I did not know what to do, and it wasn't until I died three times that the hard coded message came up, and even then, it just it, it just wasn't helpful. But that's just me personally. Also, no one knows this stuff nor cares about this stuff. If if it's like a video about how like. 
um, how Geo Chairs teaches its mechanics, then no one's gonna care about the dash rings already. I forgot this was last year though, that's really cool. What you're watching right now is four team thousand people building a geometry dash level at the same time. Every person that was such a really good idea for a level. level every five minutes, um after fifty hours we try to Honestly. But I'm still gonna go with Sam Vying. Yeah, I'm 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 still going with Sam Vying. Uh, Ten year anniversary was good, but just my biggest gripe with it is that no one's gonna know who half the people that that were interviewed are. Whereas at least with Samifying and Stormfly, you can get a little bit of context about some popular levels from back then. Um, this creator, never heard of this person. Never heard of this person. Never heard of this person. I've heard of audio visual, but just not a fan of their videos. But I have only seen that one level where like, um, they make it so that you have to turn down your volume to see the decoration, which was a really cool idea. I hear way too much about Pocky or whatever their name is. Never heard of this person? Yeah, I would say audiovisual would be the best creator, even though, um, really it should be Purrs and me. <laughs> Um, like I said, I think me and everyone else would just say Zoink because he's the best player, like, skill-wise. Because this is clearly just based on, like, skill-wise. Like, it's not based on how entertaining their content is, it's just how good of a player they are, and obviously skill-wise, I think Zoink is the best. But everyone else will just agree. In fact, literally all these people just use Zoink's icons anyway, because it's undeniable he's the best. But, honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work now. Okay, good, it works. It works, finally, there we go. Oh, it even saved all my responses, alright, good. Um, best harder level. Um, I was gonna vote that funny level, right? Blomp. Ah, uh, this level was good. Oh, I like this one. I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, I'm going with this one. <laughs> best easy demon. Either Glorious Fortress or I Spy with My Little Eye. I mean, everyone's gonna vote I Spy with My Little Eye anyway, so it's not gonna matter, but I like Glorious Fortress. Um, I never heard of any of these levels, so I'm just gonna go with this one, because that's the one with the geometry dash on the computer. Uh, best hard demon, and I like this one. I like the block design in that one. That one's really good. Best insane demon. Um, I'll go with Crash Game because of the name. And finally. Edge of Destiny, I'm 100% voting on that. I am not voting this, because this level is overrated. <laughs> and I, I am proud to say that. Oh, alright, there we go. Now I get to vote. Um, so yeah, I think I said A on air. I think I've only watched one of his streams. That was it. I've heard of most of... The, I, I've, I've heard of Sigi. I don't like his content. But that that's just me. No, 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 nothing against him, it's just I'm not a personal fan of his content. Never heard of this guy. Doggy's good. Only watched a couple of this guy's videos. And Pesta's okay. Dorami's also okay. Best YouTuber. Uh, I mean, it's Stormfly, but they they didn't really have a good year, so... Uh, it's really hard. Who did I say before? It's definitely not these two, that's for sure. But I didn't really... Sir Gullistar was like a big one this year. Um... Uh, I mean, I watched a lot of Colin's videos this year, so I'll go with him. Best video? Nah. Yes! Um, and these categories are best creator? 
Yeah, I'm just going to vote audiovisual because he's the only one I've heard of. Um, and yeah. All right. So my votes will only be like a small drop in the bucket because everyone was on that was on there. But um, yeah. Um, maybe you know, on February 3rd. All right. That's not too far away. All right. So that's the video, I guess. Um, made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'm sorry to all those who, are, who have offended except for um, Gallofuff. Uh, I'm sorry, but um, uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, anyway, um, I will see you later. I hope to make more reaction and commentary videos in the future. And yeah.